Hello, this is Mark Diggs for 36 or Drag Freak with another LEGO creation. And this time, it's an infinitely variable transmission. That means that it doesn't just have a certain number of gears, it can translate through any number between two points. In this case, it's a certain speed, this speed, or a dead stop so it can have a neutral gear. But even when it's at a dead stop, it's applying force forwards. So it's not only a neutral gear. So the more you slow it down, the more torque it applies. The harder it pushes against you. Which is basically what a transmission is supposed to do, except this one is automatic, and it has an infinite number of gears. So it's very nice. So I'll show you how it works. You run it at high speed, and if you slow it down, it will exert force at you. Like that. What happens is there are these two differentials that split the power between two different sets of gears, and then recombine it again. So this motor powers it into this differential, which splits the power between these two sets of gears. Then it goes forward to these gears at drastically different gear ratios, and then recombines again. When this part spins, it goes fast, because this is geared at a 3 to 1 ratio. When this part spins, it goes slow, because it's geared at a 1 to 3 ratio. And if these parts spin opposite directions, it can actually stay in place. The thing is, I applied a load to this side. I put in a friction peg geared onto this half to keep it from running too much, because I don't want it to run slowly all the time. So this is what applies the force, basically. When you have it stopped, this side needs to run really fast. So this friction peg will apply a lot of force forwards, trying to stop you from running this side so fast. So if this side is completely stopped, then it goes really fast. So it's running a little bit, it's still fast. But if you stop it, that side needs to run really fast. And when that side's running really fast, the friction peg generates a lot of force to push it forwards. So there you have it, my infinitely variable transmission. Okay, here's a short clip demonstrating that the transmission actually works. First, I'll do a test with the transmission working. Driving up an incline, and it works very well. Next, I'll lock the transmission so it only works in high gear, the fast gear, and see if it has enough torque to get up the hill. It doesn't have enough torque to move on level ground. <laughs> nope, definitely not enough torque to move up without help. So the transmission works. It gives it more power than it would have otherwise if we were just on the high gear. So, this has been my infinitely variable transmission. Hope you enjoy its awesomeness.